Okay, we're going through. Uh, hey guys, welcome to the garage. We're in here training, and uh, we're going through bottom wrestling. And uh, this is Ronnie Lopez, and he's working on some new stuff uh, from the bottom position. So let's just look at you know the drill system as it is right now, and understand what this would look like going through the drill system. So you'd start off real basic exploder stand up. Looks like this. Go ahead, set. Ronnie's focusing, he knows that the guy's lined up on this side, you know, the guy would be lined up here. So Ronnie's focused on make sure this arm clears, okay, he's really actually got to clear this arm and hit a basic stand-up. He's got to clear this arm and he's got to catch the arm that's coming across here uh, with his other arm. So he clears this arm and he catches this one here, okay. So I clear and I catch, okay. Inside leg stand-up, you can hit an outside leg stand-up as well. I think both are good, but... Here's an inside leg stand up. So a guy hits a couple on his own. Go. Good. Go. Really want to focus on speed. And then as the, as the guy's done a couple, you throw a bag on here. Ronnie's got to carry the weight and hit quick exploder stand ups. Go. Here. inside and chop. Okay, he's low, his elbows are down a little bit, but he's still following the rules. His knees are on the line, his hands are on the line. Okay, and he explodes here. Explode. Good. One more. Go. Good. And the back comes off. And he goes ahead and hits one or two. Out back. Go. Now keep in mind you can hit 20 of these, you can hit 30 of these. You really you can't get enough reps. And then as the guys hit a couple, he should feel faster after having a bag on him. Then I put pressure on him right here. So all I'm doing, this is brand new to Ronnie, so um, you know we're just working on this. This is you know beginner level kind of fundamentals, uh, but it's also what like high level, you know, um, elite college division one wrestlers. Are doing on a regular basis. They're doing regular stand ups, shoulder and stand ups, changeovers, they're working on their bottom position, and you gotta have fundamental drills first. So you get pressure like this, and Ronnie's looking to um, hit that same type of stand up, but now he just has a little bit of pressure. Go. Good. Set. Go. Here, okay, get stands up. Good, catch 
right here. Whoa, 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 don't turn, see? Look at, there's a big difference turning when your hips are this way. Okay, so split leg step. Like, like here. Practice this. Get on the wall. Ronnie's done this at camp. Put down. Okay, up against the wall. Right here. So this is like a pressure back stand up position. All we're doing, and you'll see this in the drill system, is we're just pressure back into the wall right away. So set, go. Um, like like this. I'll show you. And you copy me. Always learn to model, you know, things that people do. So if you don't know, just go ahead and ask me, and I'll, I'll do it. So here, okay. So I'm here. Okay, I'm getting to this position. Now, once I'm in this position, all I'm going to do is just chop my feet. Okay. When I say heist, okay, put that hand down here. My leg comes out, and I heist this hip. Split, split, like split, just split. Now 
Now press your back with the ear to ear. There. There. Now heist. Yep. After you heist. There. Heist. Circle up.
Now, from this position, I'm gonna step up here. Okay, right now I'm in a changeover, or I mean I'm in a shoulder in position where I could probably beat Ronnie right here. But what he's gonna do is he's gonna start to recover. He's gonna come all the way back around. Keep coming, right there. As he starts to come back around, I'm gonna switch my hips underneath. Okay, it's called a changeover. This is what it looks like out here. As I go like this, I feel that pressure. Okay, I lift the pressure off a little bit. Step up, he's following me. I switch over. Step up here. Okay, same thing to the other side. Here, notice it's not a short sit, it's not this. Okay, this is actually here. Okay, my leg tucks underneath. Okay. Okay, so let's see if you can do it. So, just the best way to learn is go ahead and walk forward, step up. Tuck it underneath. Walk forward, step up. Now, you're going to use it to push, but then it's going to release. It's going to release and tuck it underneath. Go. Good. This arm stays tight there because I'm going to be coming back in on that side. Good. Better go back, walk it forward, chain. Good. Walk forward just an inch, one, two, and then step. Okay, now change over. Oh, yep. The quicker you can just turn your hips versus walking them way out and trying to get your hips out, you're not doing that. You're actually, if anything, I'm just staying coiled. So you guys on top of me, all I'm doing is staying coiled. See how I just stayed in one spot? So if I can, I don't want to change the spot that I'm in. I'm right here, and in this tiny little circle, I should stay in that little circle. Okay, why? Because that means I'm coiled. If I get extended, okay, all sorts of problems. Just stay coiled. Here, steps up. Good, coiled. Good. Four. Big hip change, big hip change. Good. Yeah. Oh, got my arm confused. So instead of walking up like this, you're not gonna be able to do this. It's people are gonna do this. It's a little side step, it's here. Manage change. When I change over, you'll notice this leg does kick out, but it also this one really tucks in the knee. Go again. Here. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Changeovers are always going to release pressure and they're going to change the direction of the pressure. So it releases pressure, but it changes directions of it too. So it makes it advantage to you, right? Instead of playing catch up, He's playing catch up. So if you play catch up, he's playing catch up. Does that make sense? Okay. Here, now I gotta catch up. See, if you were to do that to me, you can just right off the bat. If you were to do that right away, now my only option is to come back all the way around to this side. And by that time, you're gonna you're gonna do well. That was good, but you're probably just gonna go because because I'm catching up. By the time I start to catch up, you're already pressuring back, and we're just doing the stand up. See, jump on me, sit here, I go here right away. Now, your, your pressure, you're going to be chasing around trying to catch up to me, I'm just going to use that pressure. Catch one hand, change over, try to hit two in a row now, one way than the other. Walk forward both times. So you go here, here, boom. Get bump forward. Bump that the other side. Here. Come again. Do it right this time. Go. Here. Okay, now he bump, he bumps you forward. Good. Yep. Here. Walk forward. Yeah. Never. Most 
foreign part is going to get extended. He extended, they suck back, you ride, everything. Okay, so it's really important to stay coiled. Go. Good. Good. Okay. All right, so now with a little bit of pressure, go ahead. Yeah, okay, I got pressure. Go. Good. You should, you should be able to stand up right after you hit that chain over. Here, get the pressure. See where I went? All my pressure is forward. He hits a changeover. I loop. The pressure is gone. I can't give him pressure anymore. So if he hits it properly, I should just go right here. That's why I have to play catch up. So if he goes changeover, I have to play catch up. Here. I have to do a circle. It's the same thing when I'm actually on top. Here. Boom. 